Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor man. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Good afternoon! Good afternoon, amazing kids! We welcome you once again in this session for our week three. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon, Maria Jenny. Jenny Hill, Estala, Johans Hong, good afternoon. So I would like to greet everyone, parents, pupils, guardians, and whoever watching in our live session today this afternoon. Good afternoon to all po, good afternoon. Yes, watching from Gamo Central School, we have Tien Ruben Jan Boscaino. Good afternoon po. And then, amazing afternoon that we are now meeting again, right? In this very, very wonderful afternoon. And we are now here to have a very fruitful and we can gain a lot of knowledge po and learning for this lesson. So, good afternoon din po from West Central School Grade 5 of Maaga. Good afternoon. Hello po sa inyo. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, I want you to watch this. All right. So here, I am your tutor, Tutor Joni. As you are always every Tuesday afternoon, every 4th, uh, 3.40 to 4.20 in the afternoon po. We are live and alive and you can watch us in many channels like here in DepEd Tech Unit, DepEd Tayo, and DepEd Educational Technology Unit, and DepEd TV. So are you excited? Yes, I am always excited every Tuesday because once again, I am going to meet my alert and active pupils in English 5. Hello there. So we have, uh, good afternoon, Paul, from Danielle Nikani. What is this? Uh, for a while, uh, Haduka, great, 5 Earth from Gamot Central School. Uh, hello din po, pa shout out sa advisor na si Evangeline Diego Agari. Good afternoon sa lahat. Okay, so dear parents, you may participate or you may stay for a while with your students and your children at home as we are going to start our lesson. Handa na ba? Ready, ready? Okay, thumbs up if you are ready. Ayan. Wow, nagpalakpak ka na. Congrats. Okay, so let's move on to our lesson. I am your teacher Joni, or you can say tutor Joni for our Itulai online tutorial this afternoon for our English 5. Okay. For this week, ayan. For English 3, oh yeah, may nag thumbs up. For English 5 online tutorial for week 3, we have this quarter 1, week 3, clarifying meaning of words using dictionaries, thesaurus, and our or online sources. Yes, Colette Haduka, good afternoon. This is our competency for week three. Ayan. So as we prepare ourselves, we can do a little bit of stretching 
Yes, and stay comfortable in your seats. So let me present to you the competencies of our first quarter as listed. Here we are. Ayan. So for the first competency, filling out forms, we have done it on the first week. Second is uh, same, filling out forms with deposit and withdrawal slips. Tama ba? Yes. Tapos na po ako sa week three. Okay, magaling. So it's just a good review for you. Next. Ayan. For week three, clarifying meaning of words using dictionaries thesaurus, and or online resources. Palakpakan natin, nag-thumbs up si Rowena. Opo, opo from Hana Artaho. Hello, Ana and Pirin Matthew Lapid. Magandang hapon sa inyo for viewing. Ayan. So, next, we have, ayan. So, we are done. Nasa pangatlong linggo na tayo and and we uh, would like to greet our beloved teachers. Okay, for this month, we have the um, National Teachers Month. Tama ba? Okay, nag-thumbs up si na Martin Angel Dave Nagumpreza. Hello, Martin. Andyan ka na rin. And Alia Moore Galvez. And we also would like to... Uh, announced that yesterday we had our 29th National Family Week celebration. Tama? Kainang Pamilya Mahalaga Day. Yesterday and today. So you can enjoy your dinner time with your families. Okay? Nagawa niyo na ba? Dinner time and bonding time. Right. Next is there so now you can get your pencil dear students pupils you can get your pencil notebook and module in english and i will be your guide in answering that okay thumbs up thumbs up mm -hmm. okay pa heart heart na rin riola seven carl opo prince raquel j pamitan Opo and Rowena Narito. Happy Teacher's Day po. Yes, thank you so much. And happy Teacher's Day po sa lahat ng ating teachers na nanonood. Okay, keep on watching. And heart from Sam Divina. So get everything you have available there. And I will be your guide. So I would like to say thank you also to the Osamis City for our module to utilize this afternoon. Okay, are you ready, pupils? Let's get ready. Okay, ready, ready na sila. Here we go. That is our uh, module reference. Ayan. So, kabisada niyo na ba ito? Hmm. Let's come. Okay? Come join me in singing. Okay, so three... Two, one, go. So, come join me singing. Come join me singing. Learning English is fun, fun. Learning every day. Happy all the way. Learning English. Join the fun. Hooray! Palakpakan yung sarili. Wow, ang galing. Yes po, chuta. Ready na po. Yes. Nagsipagawitan na ba kayong lahat? Very good. So, come join me in singing is already done. Medyo meron lang pong konting revision sa tone pero okay lang po. Kasi uh, every day, uh, I still practice this song. Kayo rin po ba? Opo. Ayan, ready, ready na. Mainit na ba dyan? Dito kasi malamig kasi medyo umulan. Yes, tutor? Palakpak. From Faye Paula Calixterio and Nika Salon. Thank you so much for watching. We have Prince Zara Kiljay Pamitan, Riola Seven Carl. Okay, here we go now. So for quarter one, week three. Okay, tandaan. Remember, kids, at the end of our tutorial, you are expected to distinguish, uh, not yet. 
Uh, first is define the meaning of words using dictionaries and thesaurus and online resources. Okay. Do you have any idea? Mm-hmm. I know, but later, you can keep that to yourself first. Later, meron tayong mga katanungan that you have to answer with many different online resources. Okay, number two, identify search tools which are using dictionaries and thesaurus as well as search engine or websites used for online searching. Right? Okay. Hi po sa inyong lahat. Yes. From Opo. Ayan. And for the third objective, distinguish accuracy of information when relating a topic at all times by presenting a coherent, comprehensive report and an issue. So medyo matindi ito sa last part natin. Right? So... Uh, we can practice that more by doing your assignment, all right? So let's get it on. Okay. Come on, come on, students. So choose the word from the word box that could replace the bold-faced word in each sentence. Number one, my answer na ba? Are you there? Yes. Colette Haduka. Opo, opo. From Gabriel Sahagon. What's that? A smiley face. Thank you, thank you, Gabriel. Number one. We were lucky that it didn't rain. What's your answer? What could be the other term for lucky? Yes? Ayan. Present muna natin yung box. Here you go. Grimy, fortunate, chuckle. Okay. We were lucky that it didn't rain. What's your answer? You can type in your answers there. Hello po. From Terina Red Paris. Yes. And the answer is, yes, from the three choices from the box. Grimy, fortunate, chuckle. Yes. And the answer is? Tama! Fortunate! That's correct! Um, you are correct, Viola. Stephen Carr, congratulations. Shaima also got it correct. Uh, Lloyd. Yes, correct. Prince Arakil J. Yes, don't worry. We still have more. Number two. Ayan. Okay, same words from the box. So, that joke made me laugh. Okay, what's the answer? Grimmy, fortunate, chuckle. Number two na po tayo. Yes. Martin Angel Dave, you got it correct. Prisa. Okay, Lakas, Jan Paolo Lakas, and Martin Angel. Ang galing. Super, super amazing. Ayan. So the answer is chuckle. Ayan, mag chuckle nga. Yes, a little bit of uh, smiling or laughing. Correct. Ayan. Bibigyan ko kayo ng good work. Okay. Palakpakan niyo sarili. Okay. Good job. Or good words. Next is, please read the following words. Okay. Another activity. Can you say it with me? Enormity. Voracious. Exhibition. Abnegation. Acid. Okay. Thank you for reading. Are these words familiar to you? Okay. Pa thumbs up kung familiar and thumbs down naman if not. Yes. Chen Ruben John Buscaino, two over two. Yes. I still have more activities for you later. Just stay there. Okay. Are these Words familiar to you? Yes? Okay. Smiley face. No. Sam Divina. Yes. Of course. Okay. Familiar? Of course. It's not familiar. They are too difficult for me, teacher. So if you want to know, how about this? 
If you want to know the meaning of those words, what do we use? Okay, pag-guess. Lagyan nga ng answer if you want to know the meaning of the difficult words. Kagaya ganina, you have a seed. Okay. Yes, Martin, Angel, Dave, Nagum Preza, thank you for your wonderful answer. You have dictionary. Oh, meron din tayong internet. Yes, we have internet as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's categorize that later. We also have, yes, dictionary from Mika. Mika Venturanza. Yes, yes po, dictionary. Okay, congratulations. Ayan. So let's look at, aside from dictionary, we also have another thing. So let's look at this one. Ayan. Match the words from its purpose. Okay, what do we use if we want to know the meaning of those words? Tama kayo kanina, you're right. That is dictionary. Correct. Next, how about if you want to know the synonym or antonym? Mm -hmm. Do you have any guess? Synonym or antonym? Yes, pakilagay. Yes, Angel Zafra. Number two na tayo. How about if you want to know the synonym or antonym? Do you have any guess? Wow! Thank you, Martin. Yes. Somebody got it correct. Yes. Thesaurus. Correct, Martin. Thank you so much. And the others, Ren. Tien, Ruben, Jan, Buskeino. Yes, Hannah. Wow, gagaling yun naman. You have? Yeah, guessed it right. How about this one? If you don't have a dictionary or thesaurus at home, how will you know the meaning of words? Hmm. How? And the only available resources you have is your laptop or your desktop. So what is it? No dictionary. Yes, from Martin. From another one. From Hannah. And from Annabelle. Yes, you have mentioned a lot of things, okay? But to categorize them all, the, uh, it is called the online resources, okay? You have answered internet. Yes, that's online resources. You have Google. Uh, Google. Yes, correct. All right, Google. That's the very common one. Okay, give a round of applause for everyone. Congratulations, you have three correct guesses. And we will know about all these later. Okay, so listen. Here we go. Dictionary is a reference book listing alphabetically the words of one language and showing their meanings. Am I correct? Opo. Ang dali naman makasagot ni Gladys. Yes, Gladys, you are correct. So, a list of alphabetical words. Okay, in one language, in English. And for example, we have uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Thank you so much. Opo. Okay, what is that again? Dictionary. Okay, so we have these words earlier, right? Correct? Enormity, voracious, exhibition, abnegation, exceed. Now, let's arrange, okay? Ano kaya yung mauna? Let's arrange the words according to its arrangement in the dictionary. It says the words are arranged alphabetically, alphabetically, right? Yes. Saan kaya ang mauna dito? Hmm. First, we have abnegation. Second, yes, it starts with letter A. What comes first? 
second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, are you writing down? Okay, Mary, next uh, obligation we have accede. Yes, it start, all starts with letter A. How, how are we going to arrange that? Yes, okay. Let's find the answer. Ayan. Nakuha niyo ba? Yes. First is abnegation. Second, accede. Next is enormity. Followed by exhibition. And the fifth one is voracious. Okay. So you may write it down. How? How did we get to this arrangement? Right? Easy lang. Pa Paano natin to na-arrange? Okay. We are referring to the first letter of the word. Arrange in alphabetical order. That's right. Yes, nakakuha na sila. Congratulations. Galing-galing naman. We have Lian Galang. Alphabetical order po. Yes. And... From Martin, yes, alphabetical ule, yes po, tutor. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we have arranged them in alphabetical order. Very good. Okay, super active nila, especially yung nandito ang dami-dami. Okay, so let's move on. Ayan. So, things you can do when using a dictionary. So, remember, you have to find the target word. Correct? Number two, learn the pronunciation guide and stress. I will show you where to find this one. And three, learn the part of speech. Four, learn the syllabication. Five, find the definition of words. Okay? So here, hmm, this is what the dictionary looks like. Okay, on top of the page, you will find your guide words. What's that again? Guide words. Okay, we have here on the left side, you have the cell. And on the right side, you have the word February. Okay. So here, the circled one, cell. So these are your guide words. And below cell, we have their cell, clever, epidermis, exam, exit, expensive eye, February. They are what, they, what you call the entry words. Okay? Yes, tama. Opo, thank you so much. So guide words. Pala ang tawag doon. So let's have this first. You have the word. What's the sample? Department. Department. Opo. Okay, Rowena, thank you. Nicha uh, Salon, thank you. Shaima Zen Gavlin is guide words, entry words. Thank you. So here we have the department. So as you can see, the department is separated and department, that is what you call the syllabication. All right, so, uh, syllabication. Next is department. So that you have there the different uh, pronunciation symbol. So you have pronunciation and followed by the gray one, it's noun. Noun is what? Part of speech, right? So, correct, the department. And then below is the meaning. So, what is the meaning of the department? A division. Yes, of a large organization such as government, university, business, or shop dealing with a specific subject, commodity, or area of activity. Yes, we also have an example here, the English department. <laughs> Correct? Nakuaba. Syllabication. Pronunciation is this one below. And you have the parts of speech and then meaning below. Okay? 
And then you have the word there, similar. Yes, that is what we call the synonyms. Okay, synonym of department, you have division, section, sector, subsection, subdivision, unit, and a branch. Right? Nakuha ba? Ang galing! Yes, division, opo, opo, business. Correct. From um, Colette Haduka and Anjali Heisel do business and Zamiya Banikad. Yes, opo, nakuha, kuhang, kuha. All right, so these are the parts of the dictionary that you can see in the word listed there. So you have all those things that you are going to see. Okay, this one, we have, okay, the encircled word above. That is what you call the, what is that word? Pakisulat. Pak, you write down your answer. Amputate and ancient. What do you call them? Entry? Words or the guide words? Ayan. Opo, opo. Okay. I want you to write your answer down. Comment down there. Is it your guide words or your entry words? Yes, tama. While waiting. Thank you po, tutor. Yes, I'm very glad. Anjali. Yes, this is what you call the guide words okay what do you mean yes serena red paris thank you and you got it right so guide words let's find what is guide words i am what are the guide words so kanina nakita nyo on top of the page you will see two words, right? Left and right. So that is what you call the guide words. So what are guide words? Ayan. Pwede kayong bumasa together with me, okay? So guide words are found at the top of each page in a dictionary. Tama ba? Yes. Tamang tama. These words are helpful because they tell you the first and last entry words on a page. That's right. The guide word on the list, uh, on the ta uh, list is the first entry. Uh, probably the guide word on the list is the first entry on the page, and the guide word on the right is the last entry word on the page. Okay, so guide word on the left side and on the right side. Okay, they help you find the words you are looking for. Yes, hello. Hello, hello po, guy. Ayan. Yes, meron ang send ng hello kanina. So that is the meaning of guide words. Okay, let's move on to the second guess you have when you are going to find the synonym and antonym. So this is what you call the t saurus. Okay, pa shout out ang bilis naman. Azina, Chris, Berlongan, Farmisan. Thank you so much. Okay, so a reference book that lists the synonyms and sometimes antonyms of words. Tama? Let. Okay, let's have the uh, sample. Miriam Webster College uh, Collegiate Thesaurus. Okay, ayan. So, anong meron sa thesaurus? Your synonyms and sometimes the antonyms. Example of a thesaurus entries. Opo, thank you. Ayan. So, mag-thumbs up nga if nag-iintindihan. Ayan, good afternoon from Cassie J. Men Mendizabal. Yes, pabigyan ng thumbs up kung andyan pa kayo at nakafollow kayo sa akin. Ayan. So, thesaurus entries. We have here cold. So, part of speech is adjective. So, you can have the synonyms on top or beside that. You have chilly, cool, freezing, frosty, icy. And, wow, thank you so much, Perin. Sobrang active naman and alert. And Gladys Kapala, Nichaz, Emea, Melanie, wow. Thank you, thank you. 
Wow, meron pag pa warm hugs. Salamat po kasi uh, umuulan ngayon dito. And then, you have antonyms. Ano ang opposite ng cold or antonym? You have hot, warm, steaming. Correct? Yes, and then you have thawed. And second word natin is cook. So it's a verb, right? Action word. Like you have bake, boil, fry, prepare, and steam. Am I right? Yes. And then you also have cut. It's also a verb. It means, or synonyms could be similar words. Carve, chop, clip, crack, slice, slip, trim. Okay. And then the antonyms is repair, combine, join. Yeah, like you cut and then yeah, the opposite is being together. Okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you, Perrin, Matthew Lapid, and who's uh, that? Chio Domingo Antien. Thank you so much. Okay. So you have two. The third one is... The online resources. Tama? <laughs> Tama ba? Okay. Online resources is any material, data, or information that we can find online or the internet or the web. So I have your example that you have said earlier. You have number one is Google. You also have Yahoo or sometimes we use Bing. Tama? <laughs> Correct. But thumbs up if you agree with teacher. Ayan, opo, Gladys. Thank you so much. Opo, opo, correct. Ayan, super alert to nila. Okay, so I will show you this same thing. Ayan, that's what you have if you use your online resources. You can have, or you can go directly to www.dictionary.com. So this, this is how it looks like. Ayan. Dictionary. So you can type education. You can type department. Yahoo po. Yes. This is dictionary for a while. Okay. You can also use Yahoo then. Yeah. Google and Yahoo and Bing. Yes. Thank you, Maria. Yes. Maria is here. Uh, Colette Haduka. Opo. And we have another sample here. Ayan. So, this is the thesaurus. www.thesaurus.com if you don't have the printed one. Okay? This is your online resources. Oh, all right. Thank you, Giancarlo. Carl Cinco. So, when a word has more than one meaning, it will be best to. Okay? So, peoples, remember, find these meanings in a dictionary or thesaurus. Like earlier, we have, what's the word? Abnegation. Is that e an easy word? Is that easy to understand? No, it's not. So, find the meaning of the word in a dictionary or thesaurus. You could have, in thesaurus, you can find a less or a simple synonym for that next is determine the context in which the word is used in a sentence with other words of course you will be given in the context clues thank you so much so context clues will be also your guide when giving the meaning of or clarifying the meaning of words Okay, ayan. Ready na ba kayo? Okay, begin ng thumbs up if you are ready for our testing or activity. Go. Opo, from your own Steven Carl. How are you, Carl? Yes, and Hannah. Okay, let's do it. Ayan. Part one, read and analyze the following sentences. Which meaning fits the underlined word? Okay, so be careful. We have A, B, C, and D in different meaning. Letter A, that means... Letter C, to hold up or support. Letter D, to produce by growth. Number one, ayan. 
the trees in the backyard bear a lot of fruits. Okay, pakilagay nga yung answer A, B, C, or D. Yes, let me see your answers there. Bear, you have the underlined word bear. Yes, how about that one? Ayan, okay na po. The trees in the backyard bear a lot of fruits. Okay, reveal the answer, number one. The answer is letter D, to produce by growth. Okay, next one we have. To take medicine. Number two, write your answer with number two. Okay. I can't bear the pain any longer, so I need to take medicine. Yes? Bear. Di ko na makaya yung pain. <laughs> That's your clue. So the answer is... Okay, di ko makita yung answer. Ayan. Answer is... Letter B. Okay, medyo umuulan po kasi dito. Pasensya na po. Yes. So, ayan. Pakicomment na lang. So, I'll be waiting for your answer. Ayan. Don't worry. Still credited naman yung answers niyo. Ayan. Letter C. Uh, no, not C. It's number three. Um, tapos na yung... D, tapos na yung B, right? So, I hope the improvised stage is strong enough to bear more people on stage. More people. So, can bear, meaning, yes, what's your answer? Letter C, to hold up or support. Ayan po. We are now in number four. Have you seen the large bear in the zoo? Bear. It's a noun. What's your answer for number four? Yes, the answer is... Wow, bilis-bilis naman nila makasagot. The answer is letter A. A large heavy animal. That's a bear. Big bear. Yes, like Kung Fu Panda is a big bear. Okay, here we have part two. Don't worry, Martin. Don't worry. So let's have part two. Na ko ba kayo ng four? Four over four? Galing. Okay. Clap your hands and good work. Let's have part two. Ayan. So, identify the meaning of the underlined words. Choose from the opposite box. So, the word from the box is bright, non-judgmental, unruly, modest, and industrious. Let's try. Denise is really brilliant. She gets perfect every exam in class. What do you mean by brilliant? Yes, the answer is, yes, bright. Number two, Matthew is broad-minded. He sees to it that he looks into all sides of the issue before making conclusions about people and events. Broad-minded is, yes, yung malawak ang kaisipan, malawak ang pananasabuhay, malawak ang... Kaisipan, yes. The answer is judgmental. Thank you. Wow, dami nakasagot. Ang bilis naman nila. Thank you, thank you. Number three. Many hate rowdy boys and girls because they disrupt classroom activities with their noise and disorderly behavior. Tama ba ito mga boys? <laughs> rowdy. What do you mean by rowdy? Ayan, that's for number three. Yes. Oh, galing. Tama. 
Rowdy means unruly. Okay, one thumbs up. Okay, you got it right. Martin, Maria, Faye, Jan, Carlos. Number four naman tayo. Rowena is one of the humblest friend I know because she never brags about her intelligence and wealth. She even finds time to help the poor and needy. Okay. So, we have Rowena. The answer is Modes. Thank you. Ayan. Now, let's move on to number five. Mar Mario is a very diligent person. Before coming to class every morning, he goes to the market to deliver some of the rice cakes his mom cooks. In addition, he never uh, absents from school. Ayan. So, these are your choices from the box. Yeah. Diligent. The underlying word is diligent. Yes, the answer is industrious. Tama si Faye, Paula, Calixterio. You got five. So, pa-heart naman dyan kung nakakuha ng tamang sagot. And if you have completed and got a perfect score of four over four for part A and five over five for part B. Thank you so much. Ayan, congratulations. Yes. So for the assessment, we have dictionary and thesaurus here. I have a word here. What's the word? It's party. Right? Pa-shout uh, pa out po sa mga kaklasik ko nanonood andito ngayon. Sina Ashley. Hello, Ashley. Dago, Colette Haduka, Anchen. Yes. And Buscaino, thanks po. Hello rin po. Good afternoon sa inyong lahat. And keep answering, okay? We are now in this part. Ayan, assessment on the party. One, a group of working to promote a politician platform or state, a cause. Number two, group acting together to accomplish something. Three, gathering for social entertainment. Four, one concerning action, planned lawsuit. And five is, wait... A person or to attend social parties to give a party for. Ayan. Questions. Number one. How many syllables are there in party? In the word party. Number two. From what language did party come from? Mm-hmm. Number three, what parts of speech can party be? Okay, as you can see there, my part of speech, yan. Number four, what definition party is most familiar to you? Meron bang one, two, three, four? Saan dyan? Five, is there a synonym for party? Meron ba dyan? Six, how about an antonym of the word party? Seven, what informal expression is used for party? Eight, there are how many definition of terms for the word party? Yan, may numbers jan. And number nine, where's the stress or accent of the word party? Party, parte, party, like that. Where's the accent or the stress when you have the syllabication? So number 10, make a sentence using the word party. Ayan. Wait. Are you done answering? Okay, so I will reveal the answers now. Ayan. So, how many syllables are there? You have two syllables, right? So, you have part T, par and then T. Then you also have, uh, it is from the Latin language. What part of speech? Of course, the noun and the verb. And what definition part is most familiar? You can have A, B, C, or D. 
or uh, no, one, two, three, four, and five. Number five, is there a synonym for the party? Yes. Six, how about an antonym? Yes. What informal expressions used in a party? A person. And there are how many definitions? You have one, two, three, four, five definitions. And uh, number nine, where is the stress or accent? It's in the first syllable, party. Number 10, make a sentence using the word party. So the surprise party was Matthew's idea. Okay. Congratulations, everyone. Yes. Tamang tama. Thank you so much. So you have the word in the dictionary that you can see later on. Okay. So today we have learned. Ayan. Dictionaries are considered as one of the most resourceful. Uh, reference materials they're extremely helpful with you and me with finding the meaning of the words it is a book that contains all the words from english language they are credible sources for clarifying the word Tama ba? yes 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 they contain accurate meanings of different words the best part about dictionary because um, it provides you assistance in pronunciation, right? Syllabication, accent, history, and meaning of words. And it will also give you the correct spelling of the word. Oh, okay. So, says Nietzsche. Thank you. Ayan. We also have Pizarro's where you can find the synonym and antonyms. Yes, and online resources. You have internet access, online resources, and the search. And do you know the most popular search engine used to find and clarify meaning of words is, yes, trivia, it's Google. Or you can find some articles, journals that you want to read. You can have Google Scholar, right, Timothy? Yes, you can have Google, Yahoo, so you can search. All right. Amazing na amazing itong hapon na ito. Thank you, thank you so much. A big round of applause for yourselves. Thank you so much, my dear pupils. Until next time. Yes, I will be here with you again next week at the same time. This is Tutor Joni, or you can also send your answers, right? You can send some assignments or your output in my facebook messenger yes it's joni for Kukilia, right and you can also send it to my partner my your tutor guide lilibet siskar yes thank you in pofe paula calextero and we also have this feedback form ayan so for parents there guardians siblings and you dear pupils you can have or you can scan this qr code for our e to live feedback. Yes, if you like the chat, if you like the channel, if you like the session today, or if you want it to improve more on the next uh, episode or next week, kita kita pa rin po tayo. Yes, Faye. Ayan. Here are the English mentors, English tutors we have. And dyan po ako na sa ikot. Ayan. Tsaka yung mga iba't ibang tutors nyo. Yeah, every... Yeah, and same time pa rin po. Thank you to your parents, people, friends, and guests here today. Mm -hmm. Keep watching po at Deped Tech Unit, Deped Ta Tayo, Deped Education Technology Unit, and Deped TV. I am Tutor Joni. Always expect you to be here and never be absent in our class. <laughs> that would be all. And all I'm saying is keep learning and stay amazing, kids. Yes, and I would like to say thank you for the comments and suggestions. Up next is our tutor, Jess and tutor Jeanette for English 6. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes, we have. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, it's my pleasure, Ruen and Narito. Yes, I hope to see you next time again. Yes. Here at the same time, it's our official time. 
3.40 to 4.20 p.m. Every Tuesday po. Ako po yung mga kasama, Tutor Joni here. And please like and share if you can. Okay? Para po ma-reach out natin yung ating mga uh, another tutees to keep learning. Yes. Thank you rin po. Ayan. Yes, are you done with the... Thank you, thank you. Ang husay naman! Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!